What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Kid Tosh. Today we have another NBA video with some My Park gameplay. If you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and dear down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about two guys that currently lead the MVP race. Probably unanimously. I mean, honestly, I would be very surprised if by the end of the year, you know, by the way it's going right now, um, if someone had in their voting ballot, because we have these MVP voters. If someone voted not Russell Westbrook or James Harden in the first and second spots, you know, if they were to go Westbrook and then LeBron or Harden and LeBron or whatever, I mean, it still just stands. The fact that you could see someone doing something like that just sounds weird because right now we're all obsessed with the heroics of these two guys, former teammates, what they've been doing in the NBA today. It's been absolutely ridiculous. The numbers they're putting up, you know, the team's success that they're having is actually, I think, better than what we most most of us thought it would be. You know, even with the Thunder, we know that they're not as good of a team record-wise, but I feel like a 23-16 and 16 record is pretty good, and Russell Westbrook, the fact that he's got to put up 30 points per game, or excuse me, 31 points per game, and a triple-double, and they can win 23 games out of whatever 23 out of 39 games so far this season i think that's pretty good it's 59 percent of their games they are winning and they're six and a half games ahead of the next team which is tied for portland and sacramento or that eighth seed so they really don't have a lot to worry about russell westbrook's done a phenomenal job he's improved his three-point shot dramatically he's shooting a career high 34 percent from behind there and taking a career high six Per game making over two a game which is very nice um so basically yes russell westbrook has been fantastic and james harden has been fantastic but in this video where i'm gonna compare both of them i'm spending a whole video you know i've referenced this i in past videos i've talked about oh I'll, I'll take one or the other the edge there they're very close or you know i'll mention it in passing mvp race we got westbrook and harden this shit's crazy so most of y'all probably know my opinion on these guys right now um if you've been watching my videos um, but this is for the people that didn't hear it, that want an update, or those who are new to this channel that they're watching this video for the first time. Westbrook versus Harden. Um, in the end, I'm taking James Harden over Russell Westbrook, at least right now, based on what he's done this season. You know, when you compare the two guys, it's so close. Don't act like I'm taking Harden in a landslide. Don't act like I'm saying Harden's way better because he's not. And I'm still questioning who the real better player is because I think we all knew prior to this season, everybody would take Russell Westbrook over James Harden. And it was because James Harden just wasn't a good enough defensive player. His team wasn't winning enough. You know, he wasn't doing a good enough job in Houston. But this season, he's improved drastically, not only, you know, in his production, but in his leadership as well he's been absolutely phenomenal for this rockets team um you can't only give credit to him of course they've had some great role players come in great coaching by mike d'antoni the general management has been phenomenal and sound just because they've been able to bring in players that fit that three-point shot for this team is incredible at the rate they're shooting and hitting the shots it's not something we've ever seen before um so they have this system and James Harden is the leader of that system so you know that's that's what's going on here so I'm gonna just preview the stats for you guys right now James Harden averaging 28.5 points 11.8 assists and 8.4 rebounds he's shooting 44% from the field and 35% from the three-point line both are decent I mean the efficiency is around average honestly um Turnovers, 5.8 per game. That's the highest in the league right now, so that's not what you really want to see either. Russell Westbrook's not far behind him in turnovers. He's, he's averaging 5.3 turnovers per game, which I believe is the second most in the league. It's not really that much of a coincidence that these are also the two guys leading the league in turnovers. They handle the ball the most. They're going to be making the most plays, which means you're probably going to have the most turnovers. Nevertheless, you know, obviously, if your team is committing around 13 to 14 turnovers a game, you're probably going to have your Harden or your Westbrook commit a little less than half of those turnovers, which I don't think should be a big deal because they're probably handling the ball the most. And while they should be the best ball handlers on the team, they do have to make all the plays. So with each play, you run a risk of turning the ball over. 
That's just how basketball works. Okay, so let's move on to Russell Westbrook. Let's take a look at his statistics. He's averaging 31.2 points, 10.4 assists, and 10.6 rebounds, shooting 43% from the field and 34% from the three-point line. Now, as you guys can tell, Russell Westbrook has the better stat line. He's averaging around three more points, two less assists, but also two more rebounds. You know, the points, assists, rebounds, Westbrook wins that just by averaging a 30-point triple-double. Harden, he's been absolutely incredible statistically, but not that good. Both of them have had their ups and downs defensively. Their steal rates have both decreased. They're not playing lackluster defense. I know we all think James Harden is this terrible defender, but his defensive rating and efficiency has increased from last season. He's got a better defensive plus minus. He's been doing work at least better on the defensive end. You still don't call him a good defender in this league, but he's definitely better than what he was last season. Not really bringing his team down anymore. They can hide him on defense sometimes, and their defense doesn't really get killed because of him anymore. So I'm not saying that he's a bad defender anymore. I'm not saying he's a good defender either, but he's really, you know, not playing that terrible, lazy, just not care about what happens on defense, defense. Russell Westbrook, this guy's got a ton of energy, we know, but, you know, you gotta expend a lot of that on the offensive end. So defensively, you know, he hasn't been as active in passing lanes, but he's still done a pretty good job on the defensive end. His team is pretty good defensively as well, so that helps a lot, but it's not like he's, you know, in that bad defensive category either. Um, next thing I wanna cover about these two guys is probably going to be the outlier and it's their records now i think we all know what the outcome why i picked james harden now that i just said that the houston rockets are the third best team in the western conference record wise with a 31 and 9 record which is the third best record in the nba better than any team in the eastern conference yes this is true the houston rockets have a better record than the cleveland cavaliers and they have won nine games in a row. They've won something like 18 out of the last 19 or something crazy like that. They've been absolutely on fire. They have the second best points per game in the NBA. Um, they've just been amazing. I mean, recently, they have been the best team in the league over the last month, I would say. Um, and probably a little more than that because 18, 18 out of the last 19, whatever it is, that's unbelievable. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Um, for a team that we didn't expect to be this high. I certainly didn't expect them to be this good um, But that's the beauty of it. That's why James Harden's leadership is so key He's averaging amazing numbers, but he's also leading this team. You don't have another star on this team You got a couple really good players You got role players that play with you well and Eric Gordon is a fantastic role player for this team Ryan Anderson Trevor Ariza those guys play extremely well. Patrick Beverly's a lockdown defensive player. And when healthy, Clint Capella is the perfect guy you want in this offensive set. He's like your Tristan Thompson um, for Cleveland. That's basically what he's doing, I think. You know, maybe more of a defensive guy. I don't know. He's not, you know, he, I, I mean, I gotta say, he's gotten a lot better. You know, he's playing better this season with James Harden throwing lobs to him all the time. I mean, I think that it, it, it's, you know, definitely good that he's more involved everyone's more involved this team is great Nene's is playing better their bench is pretty loaded um their starting lineup it's like james harden a bunch of role players that play extremely well with him so i think that's great for that team but the point is there's no other star on this team um you can't say that he has an edge over russell because he's got another superstar that's helping him he doesn't he's doing it by himself um great role players of course i won't discredit them but it's james harden doing his thing for the OKC Thunder, Russell Westbrook, he has even less of a good, you know, of a full squad. I think that Russell's team around him isn't as good as Harden's team around him. Of course, I think Harden's team is much better. Um, but I think that Russell's had more shortcomings, more inconsistencies this season. You look at Russell's team. I know Oladipo's been out and inconsistent. Steven Adams, he's done a pretty good job, but he's definitely not a second guy to rely on. They don't have another go-to scorer on this squad. Andre Robertson is barely a scorer. They don't have a guy that can do big things like that. Now, here's the problem. And it's so hard to be hard on Russell Westbrook because he's been so amazing this season. And the only reason that I'm picking at him right here is just to justify why I think Harden's been better. Russell Westbrook's had a bunch of games where he goes extremely inefficient. He takes a ton of shots 
and doesn't they don't fall and they lose you know they lost 16 games this year the rockets have lost nine and only one of the last 19 or whatever when was the last time the rockets lost the game what game was it can you remember we're always just, we always we all know that you know the rockets have just been winning games left and right i don't even know who's beat them in recently there have been one team that's beat them in the last month or so that's unbelievable now i'm gonna pick a russell westbrook because of that um I know it seems harsh, but here's the thing. You can make an argument for us. You could say, well, he has to take all those shots. He has to take those shots that he's missing. You know, he had the games where you know, he was missing a ton of shots. Um, he had to take those shots because no one else on his team can. They don't have a shot creator. James Harden is a guy like Eric Gordon off the bench who can create shots and be a second guy, a ball handler, really. The Thunder don't have a guy like that that can create shots for himself and others like that. Um... So Russ has, to, Russ has to take those shots, and he's not going to always make them. Russell Westbrook is less efficient than Harden this season, and I think it's because Harden's in a more comfortable environment for him. Um, the Thunder, you know, I don't think they were prepared for Kevin Durant to leave, but you know what? Um, they've still got some decent players, role players on that squad. Honestly, I got to say my point, you know, with all of that is that well, Russell Westbrook just got to be more effective. You want to be better than James Harden. James Harden just posted back-to-back 40-point triple doubles. Westbrook also did that, but Harden's more consistent, okay? His team is winning more games. You look at the stat lines, they're very close, okay? If the only reason Westbrook is, you know, on your list for MVP at number one is because he's averaging a triple-double, then that's just BS because that's not why he should be there. James Harden, he's averaging 1.6 less rebounds than 10 rebounds. He's 1.6 rebounds away from a triple double. Well, what if we just took 1.8 of his assists and put him in the rebounds and he'd have 10 assists and 10 rebounds? Okay, like that, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think that, I think that the difference, like if James Harden had 9.9 rebounds per game, we would just be thinking of, Oh, he almost averaged a triple-double. But why is 9.9 rebounds so much worse than 10 rebounds? It's like, oh, we just want to have this triple-double thing. But why is a triple-double so much greater than 9.9 rebounds and whatever stats he's having? That doesn't make any sense. That logic's just flawed. And it's because you guys like to see three double-figure numbers in the box score or in the stat sheet or in his, you know, thing, in his 2016-17 season statistics. That's what you want to see per game statistics. Um you know and doesn't define you harden's 8.4 rebounds should be greatly appreciated for what they are 9.9 should basically mean 10 i mean you can't take points away from harden for almost averaging a triple double he's damn near there i mean it's not gonna be a big deal if he doesn't average triple double and russell does that's my point here um he's been more efficient his team is winning okay he's been more consistent um his stats per game they're not as good but you know i mean I don't think he needs to be scoring more. I think he's doing exactly what he needs to be doing um, for this squad that doesn't have another star in it. And that's why he's the MVP. I don't see how you could think otherwise. People that think Russell Westbrook, you know, Russell Westbrook's close in my opinion. Um, but I, I can't, I can't believe that Russell Westbrook's the MVP as long as this guy's in the league. Russell Westbrook has been amazing. In any other year, he's the MVP. But James Hard with what he's doing no I, I can't do it um that's gonna do it for this video i know it was a little long stretch out a little bit um i had a lot to say about this topic i mean these guys have been going at it big battles they've been doing their things i love to see it the nba is just an awesome thing that i can talk about i have the fortune to talk about it on youtube and have four thousand subscribers or so whatever i have i have something like four thousand um so i'm very thankful for that um and these two guys have made it that much more entertaining and that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.